Hi, musical writers. Uh, this is a tarot and energy reading for what you might want to pay attention to for your story for February of 2024. Uh, if you're not writing a musical genre, don't worry. I'm doing a lot of other genres um, in the video, so uh, like and subscribe so that you can be the first to know when those get done. Uh, I'm Chris. I am a tarot reader for authors and screenwriters. Uh, I guide them to form a deeper connection with their uh, craft so they're networking with their projects, not on their projects. Uh, so today, uh, well, okay, first of all, I was going to be posting these on my, um, uh, on a video blog, or not, I'm sorry, an actual blog on my website, but my voice is feeling better a little bit after COVID and I just never got around to it, so now I'm playing catch up and videos are more fun. <laughs> well, whatever. We're going to keep going. So, musicals. This is the first time I've used this deck. I've got the music deck right here. The music deck. Now, I know it's not Broadway or musical kind of stuff, but, I mean, Broadway is kind of starting to mix and match, so I'm going to go with it and see what comes out. So first of all, for anyone writing a musical, whatever project you're on, I'm going to say that you are caught between, it's not quite a rock and a hard place, but you are being very rigid with yourself right now, um, with yourself or with your project. And what I mean by that is um, you, the earth and the fire energy are kind of fighting each other. They're, the, they're your strongest. Earth is the grounded energy and fire is the creative passion. And they're both kind of butting heads right now. Um, but what I think I want you to do with your project, with whatever you're stuck on, add some more water into it. Add some more emotion into it because there is no emotion in this project that you're working on or at least where you're at right now. There are no water card anywhere on this on this um, spread. <laughs> so, I, because there's four earths and there's four fires, I, I would really like to possibly adhere you or push you to take a little bit of earth and a little bit of fire and put it into some emotions, and whether that's um, allowing like breaking up something so, and not being so rigid with something. And uh, you know what? Let me get to that in just a second. Um, so let's see. <clears throat> let's start out with the first things first. Um, the musical influences you might want to try listening to are David Bowie, Missy Elliott, Chuck Berry, and Stevie Nicks. Whatever that means to you, maybe that's something musically inclined people need for um to get to write music i don't know i don't know how to write music so um the first card that came out was the three of swords and i got heartbreak it's the first thing that just kind of came to my mind now like i mentioned before i i like with being too rigid i did get the ace of coins and it was reversed which usually means no so what i'm kind of thinking is that you whatever direction you're going in with this project i think you're being there's it's too hard being it, you're being too hard on it um, if that makes sense and the reason why I'm saying that is because I've got the eight of coins at the bottom of the deck now the eight of coins is usually a card that means perfection and I kind of think you're being a little bit too perfect with this combined with the two of coins reversed which is not being able to balance something so I kind of feel like you're not balanced and if you add a little bit more water into this you might feel a little bit more balanced or add a little bit more balance to the project so i hope kind of all that makes sense but that was just kind of like that's like what i kind of got from that um i do think that even though you're getting a no with whatever direction you're going in and it feels like you're being heartbroken and it feels like you're not able to be perfect or handle these things, I think that it's gonna all work out. I think that it's just, you need to kind of let go a little bit. Um, not budging, too perfect. Um, I'm wondering, maybe you have too much of a perfect ending, um, like a everything's tied up in a bow. I don't know, is there like an emotional 
button that you can end on. Kind of like how, um, I just saw it. The musical about the Greek guy <laughs> that, um, I'm lost the, I lost the name of it. I went and saw it and it was about the Greek guy that had to, that, uh, Persephone and she was taken down to Hades and he had to go get her, but he turned around at the last minute and spoiler alert, they were separated even though they were true loves kind of a thing. I'm wondering if that could be something here because that's also with the three of hearts or I'm sorry, three of swords. Um, so I just kind of wonder if there's kind of a button there that can be added to your musical. Um, let's see, lighten up to rigid water. I really want you to pay attention to that water element and the water signs astrologically. Um, so really pay attention to those. Um, the water signs astrolo- I'm not an astrologer, but their water signs astrologically are Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. So I would really pay attention to those. Now, a caveat to that is the one major arcana card you got was the Wheel of Fortune, which usually means good luck. And the major arcana card of the Wheel of Fortune is associated with the element of fire. Um, so see what Jupiter has to tell you. That's the planet that is associated with the Wheel of Fortune. So see what Jupiter has something to tell you. But um, those, are, that's, those are the four places I would go elementally wise or planet wise toward this project. Um, the numbers you might want to pay attention to. I really want you to also pay attention to the number three. And I'm going to show, tell you, and this is why. The numbers you should pay attention to are three, 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 two, 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 ten, three, eight, one, and eight. Um, now, if you add all those together, you get twenty-eight. Um, eight plus two is ten, which is again wheel of fortune, and one plus zero equals one, which is the magician. So, magician is the one is someone that has all the elements um, that they can use to make their dreams come true. Uh, they can make things happen. They have uh, they have all the resources that they have. So I think that you have what you need. I just think you need to loosen up a little bit. Um, now again, let's go back to those numbers. You've got one, two, three, four number threes. Twos came up three in a row. Um, and so I just kind of think that there's a lot of number threes happening for this month in February. So try to pay attention to that. The colors I would pay attention to are green and yellow. Um, I think that's all on these notes. Um, I do pull three other cards for different writing prompts as well. And I got some ice skates. I don't know what that means. Um, could be something to do with the heartbreak. Could be something to do with um, the button at the end I was talking about. I, you know, may, Also, there's ice and water. There's no water cards and ice is just frozen. So maybe you need to thaw it out a little bit. I don't know. That's just something that could go with that. But also you do have a lot of fire. So I, I'm just kind of, I don't know. I, I'm not going to write your story for you, but that's just kind of what I'm getting from these cards. Now you also got the spark. So I, and because musical, I don't even want to say this is the spark when people, two people meet, because I don't know if your musical is a happy one or a love story or whatnot, but I kind of think that the spark is coming from the emotion that is missing. Um, there's probably, there's, emotions seem to be missing somewhere. There's a spark that, what makes, what is going to make people want to come see your musical? And I think that's what more of what the spark card is talking about. It is um, not reversed. It is upright, but I just kind of wonder if that's something you might want to pay attention to, especially since there is no water element in here. Um, the last piece that I have for you is, uh, what is one piece of history everyone knows as fact that is actually 100% incorrect? Why are people taught this incorrect fact? Now, this is just more of a writing prompt, so this could be maybe a script dialogue element. This isn't something like in real life. This is something for your project. Um, but maybe there's something that you can put in there kind of as a joke or a throwaway joke or something that explains how someone feels and just kind of um, bring a little bit more depth into the project that way. Um, so that's what I have for you for uh, the musical writers this month. 
Uh, please comment below if you found this helpful or not, and I'm open to su suggestions on how I can make this better for you and work, make it work better um, more for you and what you need for out of these re uh, readings. Uh, if you do want to take this a little bit further, I've started a Patreon where I'm giving away all sorts, uh, where you can get, sorry, you can get all sorts of writing prompts and get those creative juices flowing. Um, I am open to suggestions on changing those tiers as well. Um, I'm just, it just kind of depends on what the patrons want. I, I am open to, I want to make it, I want to make it a space where you all want to go and to get your creative juices flowing. And I just, the only way to kind of, I'm trying to adhere that to what the patrons want. Uh, the link to that is in my in the description below and also in all the links in my bios and all that kind of stuff. So um, remember to like, follow, subscribe, and share uh, and share this to anyone who might find this interesting and I will see you in the next one. Ooh, sorry.